Look at that ring! Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at five things that we learned from the McInerney wedding. Stephen and Nicholas, seven and a half years in making this lady finally put a ring on it. She put a ring on me. Hi, like uh. so I put a ring on it and I think we look absolutely knackered. We're exhausted. Hello to everyone. Basically, I just kind of wanted to go live once to say hello. Because uh, if you hadn't noticed, uh, <laughs> we'll be giggling away, by the way, the comments already. <laughs> uh, absolutely, genuinely. Someone said, here we go, Stephen, top checker. <laughs> Nicholas finally off the market. Um, we've been, someone's ringing me. He's ringing oh, me. it's odd. It's his My mum's ringing me. One second. My mum's ringing me. Mum, we're live on YouTube. <laughs> we're live on YouTube. <laughs> right. <laughs> Um, anyway, basically, uh, I disappeared for a week um, because we were busy getting married. Uh, and honestly, uh, <laughs> I, want, I wanted to just come on and say where we've been. Like, I am so out of the loop with football. Um, I am so out of the loop with, uh, in general, everything. Uh, in general, Manchester City and all this kind of stuff. Big love to Scott Denemy already, man, legend. Scott Scott both of you. So have you both. Thank you so Big much, Denimi Scott. Big um, But basically, yeah, <laughs> like... Uh, it's 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 we're so happy uh, uh yeah so I, I have no idea there's no football videos for a week i'm so sorry genuinely it's my fault um, my bad guys no it's my fault as well we chose it on a saturday a long time ago but it happened uh there wasn't and, any football but then and it was also like cancelled it wasn't cancelled yeah so we weren't was, cancelling again for a match no no and you, i was hoping it'd be on a sunday the game or something like that but it didn't happen unfortunately so i had no idea but finally i wanted to say um Thank you, everyone, basically. The video title is kind of funny. I mean, we will go through five things that we learned, I reckon, actually. Should we actually do that? Yeah, We'll do it. Uh, um, so it's been seven and a half since we've got together. Uh, yeah, fuck off, you actually do this video. <laughs> You're damn right we're actually doing this video, by the way. <laughs> Football news will be coming back soon. And I'll probably even start doing some videos tomorrow. But tomorrow I'm off to the Lake District as well, by the way. We're going to the Lake District, aren't we, for a little mini moon mm -hmm. until Friday. Um, but we, we are married. Look at the title, man. Do you want, does anyone want to see any photos, by the way? If you want to see any photos, we'll show you some photos, you yeah, know, you know what I'm saying? Have you got um, them already? Like, yeah, I've got them all lined up and stuff like that. you got them lined up? I've got them lined up on the screen to go in. Um, <laughs> but it was the best day of our lives, actually. Thank you so much, Eden. Eden oh, Pollen, Eden. thank you so, so much. Nice name, Eden. Eden's a lovely name. Yeah, it sounds like Ed and yeah. Jekyll as well. Mm. Eden's a lovely name. Um, and we're exhausted. Hi, we're absolutely exhausted. But thank you. What I will say, by the way, is that you've all been so fucking sweet for years. Like, genuinely sweet. From Nicola, genuinely... Um, uh, uh, harassing me for about two or three years to marry me. Joking yeah, me. someone said ha who, who proposed to him. I, I proposed to her. Stephen proposed to me after me proposing to him for two years straight. <laughs> she spent ages, she spent ages going like, um, we All right, Almond, there's enough on Twitter. No, I look at these photos, look at these photos, look at this here. Look at that, I mean, we're playing with goats here. These are the ones that are on Twitter. Look at that, look at this, this ghost. That's us with Kevin De Bruyne. How many are they? Kevin De Bruyne, um, um, Ryan that's Sterling. That's Kevin De Bruyne, the little ginger one in the middle. Fran Torres, Phil Foden, and all these people. Uh, <laughs> watch it, drink it in. Um, you are beautiful, the one that right looks good too. Way! Church changes, all right. Uh, there's one photo. Look at how beautiful we look. We're happy. We went in there, and the, the true story the goats were trying to eat Nicola's bouquet. Yeah, they were. They were, so uh, it was very, very, very sweet, um, very cute. There's one photo. Here's another one. Um, Look at this. This is at the altar. And we'll move our faces to the side. Um, that is one of our friends. Yeah. We asked one of our friends to do that officiate for us. Um, my dad built that arch as well. My dad built the arch. They're the flowers that my mum put together. Nicola's mum brought the rugs of us. Um, you know, that's one of our mates, uh, Johnny, uh, who officiated for us. It looks wonderful. It took forever, ever. Diego Valdez, thank you so, so much, thank pal. You so thank much, you so, so much. Um, that was that was us at the arch. Look how beautiful we look. And Nicholas reading a little speeches. By the way, it's a true story. So I thought I could blag my speeches because I, you know, I'm a professional he, bullshitter. He, yeah, he basically thought he was like, I've got all the confidence in the world, and then he blanked. I blanked a little bit. And Nicholas <laughs> nailed it, and I, I, I mean, but he did a wonderful job. So he did. It was really, really sweet. He made everyone cry. But yeah, that's us in the aisle there, and you know, it's wonderful. This is my favourite photo probably ever in the history of photos. Um, <laughs> look at this. Look at that. This is only a sneak preview, by the way. There's, we haven't got all of them yet. Look at that. Look there. at that view. That's us uh, up in the hill near the farm. I love it. Hello, peeping outside there. <laughs> oh, and I love that photo. We're absolutely obsessed with it. There's us on the hills and stuff. It was beautiful, beautiful photo. Funny hell. 
Alan Collins, thank you so, so much. Thank you so, so much, Alan Collins. You're an absolute legend. Uh, You've been that already before you, you know, heard about the five things yeah. we learned. Um, Alan, thank you so, so much. You're an absolute star. Look thank how tired I look. I'm, to be, so, I'm yeah, really happy, and I'm really happy to, like, see you all guys in the chat so I'm sorry if I'm not usually my energetic self and we're reading all the comments Inside by the way I as well am. reading all Inside the comments oh by the way as well I, we, I, I I sat there and convinced myself I'd reply to every comment I'm fucking not going to these hundreds and hundreds I cannot do it I uh, no. cannot do it so I, I every read, every comment we've read and smiled at every single one of them but I, I try and like them all at least to show that I've read it but I just can't reply to them I'm too tired and the one of the fields is your favourite photo Patrick yeah it's ours I mean look at that yeah we look like we're in great. some indie film somewhere. That's some cool film, and like, and it yeah. looks great. Josh, marriage great in football. So happy for you guys. It's true, Thanks, actually. Josh. It's true. Does everyone like Moringa, by the way? I, I, it's so weird. I keep looking. Wait, at wait. His watch hand. this. Watch this. Normal hands. Normal hands. Just normal hands. Dad hands. Become dad hands straight away. He's it's not like, a dad yet, by the way. This no, is I'm not, not a dad. This is not an um, of any sort. <laughs> People like Josh, a legend. Though. Thank you so so much. Um, also, here's another one. Ah, oh, look at this. Oh, so Squinting so my face because he his I little beard a... scratched me, and then his little boot, little thing, his little button hole on his jacket was uh, um, hit me in the face, and I had a thistle. Yeah, I did have a thistle on it. Where's the uh, bigger? Uh, there you go. Look at that. Look at that. Jam my seat, by the way, everyone. Uh, look at Nicholas' dress. It's so beautiful. Look at the details on Nicholas' dress. There, I see it. It's gorgeous. And that's me giving her a little kiss. I'm me trying to look smart. The field's in Holcomb, uh, near Ramsbottom. Someone very... said, what took you so long, bro? We tried to do this a year ago, all right? We did. And it got cancelled. Yeah. <laughs> so... um, look at the flowers that Nicola chose as well, by the way. It's too wholesome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got married at Cromshaw Fall Farm, which is a farm near Ramsbottom where we're going to move. It's just outside. It's a place mm -hmm. called Holcomb. Yeah. It's like about half an hour outside of town, basically. Um, it's basically a farm on top of the valley, and they have goats, they have chickens. And Nicola okay. chose my little pinny as well, which is on my, on my shirt there. Um, I did. I chose all the flowers. Uh, but basically, um, it's lovely. And who want, I'm going to show you a video now. Watch as I was walking down. The, uh, Are you going to show it? The video of, uh, not the whole video. Just a little bit, a little snippet. Of, you know, the confetti from. Oh, right, Watch okay. this, the confetti from. <laughs> That's us walking oh, down. Yeah. You can't hear the sound. It's playing out. There's us. There's the confetti from. Look how cute we look. <laughs> I've watched that on Leap of Life a few times. Oh, Ali Coulson said that one. <laughs> It is, that's what I really like. I'm just going to leave it on loop one more time, one second. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love this. I mean, the best thing about this, right? Oh, you hear the music now. Oh, my parents in the background to mind. That music, that music is um, Sigur Ross played by a string quartet. And the song is called Hockey Pol, uh, which is Icelandic, translates roughly to. Uh, jumping, in puddles. jumping in puddles. It rained, but nowhere near as much as it was forecast to. And we walked down outside, played to, uh, walking through puddles to a song called Happy Polar, which mm -hmm. is one of our favourite songs. Um, and we thought that's just a perfect little thing. It was perfect. Um, uh, oh, uh, sorry, there's comments on Big Johnny, legend. Apparently, Kay's pretty good speech. Yeah, okay, apparently, he is, yeah. <laughs> Do you mind signing of your wedding? It was Danny, Danny being stitched into the interview, too, yeah. Uh, Daniel Levy wouldn't let me have him, unfortunately, you know. Um, Oh, uh, we got we. Uh, I said Nicola yeah, instead. Yeah, and said, you settled for a speech from your best man. We dude. we did get a photo, by the way, of like announced stuff, but we haven't got it back yet from uh, from a photographer who's yeah. a top blue, um, uh, and it was absolutely genuinely wonderful. So essentially, you just wanted to chat and just chat to you all <laughs> and like. What? Someone said any arguments since you've been married. We have not considering we planned this all without a wedding planner. We did it all. We've not argued once, have we? So this is what we learned from getting married. Yeah. There's two ways to go. You can hire a wedding planner, which is a billion times less stress free. Yeah. Or you can do it yourself like we did. Which is Both have fucking pros and cons. absolutely <laughs> exhausting beyond belief. I never thought in my life by the way, I want to say once again thank you so much to um Alan, Alan. Collins. You legend Alan Collins, You're thank you so, so much. Legend. You love um, I, I, I never thought in my life I would be quite as tired from a wedding as I am now. We, we we got. I think you can hear it in our voices. Twice last week, we were up at five a.m. to drive to a flower wholesaler where the birds were still tweeting away to go look at fresh flowers, and then we worked until midnight, literally mm. midnight, walking around town, buying little bit. The amount of stuff you buy. Let me look at this here next to us. 
This is a, a picture frame that we bought, or my mum bought for us, and we bought some uh, pegs and then we drilled in and we made it. And basically, people got a little Polaroid camera, we put a basket there, and you could take selfies and stuff like that. And uh, Nicola, we made uh, the, we chose all the flowers ourselves, we made the invites ourselves, which, by the way, my mum made, got a glass, we drew our invites, our, I drew the invites. And I drew the invites, and my mum got a glass version of the invite that I drew made up. Look how beautiful it's that is. Terrible. I drew it out as a hand-drawn invite, and my mum got that as a gift, which I'm obsessed with. Uh, we did absolutely um, everything. Oh, Sorry, I was making sure I didn't fall over. Um, we did everything, like we all the decorations, bought loads of jars. Oh my put, God, Put, so put Hessian around them all, chose all the flowers. This is Nicola's bouquet of flowers, which is here as well. I mean, look at that. Isn't that the prettiest thing in the world? My, my, if you, if you head out of the way, Nicola, uh, you're totally out of the way. My pinny, my little flower pin is up there attached to a camera on top of the shelf. Where is it? Like there somewhere. Yeah. Um, we did absolutely everything from the, the hay bales to the, to the decorations. We made signs for everything. We made a Mario Kart sofa, by the way, in the corner of hay bales. Mm -hmm. Um, I have no thoughts about wrestling, by the way. Someone keeps asking it. I have no thoughts whatsoever about wrestling. Sorry. Um, you learn it's absolutely unbelievably exhausting. But but if you do it's it all okay. yourself, it's so, so satisfying. We've been sat here smiling at every single I think, photo. I think, like, before it happened, and on the lead up, I was just saying to everyone, like, just get a wedding planner, let them do it. But now it's happened. I wouldn't change no, it for the world. There's just so many bits that I just. We don't chose think all the music for the string quartet. Done. We did all the decorations. We chose the caterers ourselves, the photographer ourselves, the venue ourselves. We had ten about ten people, friends and family, helping us decorate the venue. Mm -hmm. it lasted the whole of Friday to do it, and most of Saturday like, morning. From two to I was still I was still decorating well. while Nicola was getting changed, and then when the guests started turning up, and I realised they yeah, needed to get you changed. Yeah, you like I had to go have a shower and everything. Um, but basically, it's the most, I would say, if you if you care about the things that you love, and what I mean by that is if you have strong opinions about anything creative or the things you love, we both look knackered, we are, <laughs> we're, saying, so we're exhausted. I'm so, like, I'm no, like, my eyes are usually really big, but they're just permanent like that right now. <laughs> <laughs> Romano reporting a thirty thousand pound wedding fee. Val's red, and here we go. The thing is, we did it a damn sight cheaper than that. Not the cheapest wedding in the world. It's been about eight grand, I think, mm -hmm. which is a lot of money. But most weddings cost about thirty grand generally, and we did it. And I, I wouldn't change it for the world. A small little barn, uh, gorgeous really hill backdrop. The backdrop. I mean, look at the backdrop. This is the backdrop. I mean, look at that. It was just, it was beautiful. Even better, actually, even prettier on the valley and stuff like that. Um, so that's one thing we learned. Do it yourself if you want to do it yourself. It's, it's, it's exhausting, but do do it yourself. Second thing I say we learned, meet all, at least meet or chat on the phone properly. With all of your suppliers. suppliers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We knew, we, we'd been to the restaurant a few times that we wanted. We met for a chat and a coffee with a photographer, Lee, and she was lovely. Um, what else? Uh, Nicola even spoke to the ice cream van that turned up. She yeah. had she tested his goods as well at while work. Yeah. Well, well, actually, I hired him, and then um, I obviously went back to the office when things opened up again. And I heard this ice cream van coming round at like just after lunchtime. So I was like, "Hang on, I feel I feel like I, like this guy does his rounds around here. I wonder if it's him." And it turned out it was. So and I said hello. We a spoke of times actually. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We spoke a lot as well to the string quarter and we, we found we did, out what yeah. they did is basically played all contemporary songs like they played from like Game of Thrones theme to Jurassic Park <laughs> Shall I show a bit of the video? Okay. Is anyone like I watch this? Is anyone interested in seeing the actual video? The only thing is I don't know if how if I can skip forward, that's the only thing. Well, we can see you a little bit. Um I don't know if we can, we can do this, or maybe not. I'll maybe not, because other people might not want to be on Yeah, um, and basically, so... Ah, oh, Patrick, so, so, oh, thank Patrick. you. First off, congrats to both of you. Brings me so much joy seeing two people so happy together. Craziness, craziness, reminds me of my wedding. Listening <laughs> listening to this drive on the drive from home work. Happy to have streaks <laughs> back. Um, thank you so much, Patrick. You're an absolutely lovely, lovely person. Um, it's really good getting married, is what I will say. It's... It's, it's definitely fun, isn't it? If it, that's one thing we learned. Like, I don't know, um, we were talking about it, weren't we? We went for lunch together today, and we were just like, it just feels like the most natural thing in the world for us. Like, everyone says it's a big deal, but 
it feels just like it's one just... day you wake up and you're just wearing rings and you you, you told each other you spread. But in the best way, that sounds like really like it, dismissive. But it, it's it's just... not life changing in the sense that anything's different now. It's yeah. it's just. It's just a lovely, lovely, devout moment to each other, celebrated by people around you. And it's, it's just, absolutely it's beautiful. It's just class, isn't it? Having all of your, your, your friends, friends and family. It. And that's okay. another thing we learned. And we're not saying anyone's wrong to do this. If you want to and you've got any questions, you just stick to the people that you love and care about. I'm going to get to the comments <laughs> in a minute, but honestly, we kept it small and personal. Mm -hmm. And I don't mind three, four, five hundred people weddings if you want to. But we kept it to about 60 people that we really cared about. Yeah. And the vibe and the mood. I was so happy to see everyone there because all of them meant something to us. It wasn't mm -hmm. extended cousins and cousins' cousins. We, we were brutal with that. Yeah. Um, and we loved it. We absolutely loved it. Uh, did any of you cry? Yeah, I cried my eyes out, John. Nicola cried her eyes out. I'm a fucking soft ass. I couldn't help it. I thought I wouldn't, but I just bottled it. I cried over Percy Pigs. Yeah, so <laughs> I'll tell you a little bit of the vows that I did. So... On uh, mine and Stephen's first date, I brought a packet of Percy Pigs. Cause, I'd never had them. Yeah, Stephen had never had them. Um, and we were, obviously, we met on Tinder. And we were trying to lead up to it. So, yeah, I brought a packet of Percy Pigs for my vows to start my vows off. And you just started sobbing as soon as you saw them. <laughs> yeah, that's, and the altar she gave you Percy Pigs, <laughs> which is wonderful. Um, yeah. And Massim, uh, so thank you so much, Massim. Uh, congratulations to Mac and both of your lives. I'm happy to see a bunch of kids. Uh, you <laughs> the same wedding day. Happy wedding anniversary. Ah, yes. Yes, How many 21st. years is that for you? Ah, oh, you're a legend, man. Oh, Mark's been oh. 31 years. Wonderful. Wow. Uh, absolutely wonderful. And what I will say, by the way, is I have no, no football knowledge right now. I have been out with the game for a week, so I cannot tell you anything about Norwich or anything like that. He, so. he went into last week thinking, I'm going to have loads of time to do loads of videos. And oh, my God. I was so no, fucking wrong. I've never worked so Every hard minute. in my entire life. So one of my days, right, was getting up at 5 a.m. with Nicola spending two hours driving around to North Manchester, near the Etihad actually, to go mm. to a, re, a business park to look yeah, at flowers. Yeah, far off actually. Near, to look at, look at flowers. Got back, I went and got a haircut, uh, a trim. I then walked around to get these little kind of, we made these little, one second, I'll show you. One second. Uh, the other Wait. carts. Huh? The carts that we made. So, oh, the carts, yeah. Our, for our officiator, wedding officiator, I made him a little cue card. So we made him these little cue cards. Uh, these, so we made that, got them printed off. Went around, bought a shit ton of jars and all this kind of stuff. Went and collected my brother and my dad's suit, which went missing one of the suits. <laughs> I was freaking out. Thankfully, a Man City fan called Alan, his legend, that works at Slayers. Spent ages trying to find it. What else did I do? I was in the. I was that same day. I ordered low, ten whiskey barrels as well to to, to mm -hmm. act as tables. We I were, was doing loads of stuff. Yeah, this was doing I loads just, of stuff. I just can't even we remember. were building stuff. We we made this and drilled this picture frame for all the Polaroids. We, I ordered about four hundred thousand things of Amazon, um, and I was and they went on until midnight from five a.m. We did that. We did that all week. All week. All week. I booked off the whole week before, like off work, <sighs> thinking, oh, I'll need it, but I didn't realize like you need it when you're planning your own wedding you don't it's insane you it's end a... up with so much like single use stuff you feel guilty like so i'm hoping we'll be able to like pass it on to some people but, but yeah it's crazy the tiredness but yeah but back to the point three which was um i would say invite who you want to invite mm -hmm. i really mean that it's your day it really it's it's everyone everyone's there but make it about yourself honestly mm -hmm. um like everyone says make sure you take your time to like be with each other on the day but because we had such an intimate wedding i feel like we did see each other there's so many times where we didn't see each other for probably like an hour or something or like we were just running past each other but we also had loads of times together as well don't we yeah we um, did and it was really really good by the way as well i wrote the ceremony he did indeed that's another thing i did on that day i sort of wrote a ceremony Mm -hmm. I didn't write my speech because I thought I could blag it and I wrote a ceremony which I thought was beautiful with jokes and all and our mate Johnny very, very adapted good. it and yeah. nailed it as well But yeah so basically what we did is um, the venue that we got married well had our wedding at doesn't have a licence so a few weeks ago we actually technically got married at registry office um, with just two witnesses um, my mum and your brother and um, then we got our really good friend Johnny who is an amazing actor Where is he? and a wonderful this guy here 
Wonderful man with an amazing jawline. Um, he's got look at his jawline. He's got man. like such a Hollywood actor look, doesn't he? He looks like he's got Captain America jawline, is what we say. Mm-hmm. Look, I mean, oh wait, can I get any bigger? Trying. It's not letting me stretch it, but like there you go. Stretch it there. Look, I mean, look at his jawline, man. It's you could you could, you could cut, cut diamonds some, on that, yeah, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, like. Could. Um, he's, um, he's so got Game of Thrones it. pin as well, which mm-hmm. is really cool. My dad made that arch, by the way. Yeah. Uh, my mum did the flower decorations. Uh, Nicholas mum brought all the rugs um, and all that kind of stuff. Okay, we just good. did all the decorations ourselves. Um, These are my nails. She got a little nails done. To match my bouquet. Very, very beautiful. Fourth thing we learned: money runs away from you. We you, just, we, you get to the point, and everyone says this, but you really, really do get to the point where you're you just like... Yeah, fuck it, fuck it. Fuck it. So you just like... Just throw money at we, stuff Before we built it, in about four or five grand. Mm-mm. Uh, I don't regret anything we spent for it's work, because it's still well cheaper than the average No, I think, I think we could have def- definitely done it way cheaper than we did, but we kept wanting to add things to it, and... <laughs> what were your vowels? <laughs> sliced, um, sliced cheese off those joke a- ones, yeah. A-O-U-I-E... Hey, your vowels, that's a terrible joke. Um, Someone literally said probably your vowels. Vowels, vowels. Don't mock his bloody... Show him she's a dick, ignore her. <laughs> um, it was basically, yeah, so at one point, right, I, like, it, we, we just, we... As well, I got two gazebos of people off Twitter, which actually was incredible. Mm-hmm. Thank you so, so much as well to Lindsay everyone. Lindsay and James. Um, a United fan, one a of United them. United fan, one of them, so... But he's, uh, you know... There is some good ones out there. <laughs> Uh, it was uh, insane, like, as well, this was what I was going to say. We, oh, yeah, up. The wedding cake as well was made by a friend from mm-hmm. Nicholas School, incredible. I went to school with her many, many years ago, like ten, ten, well, more than ten years ago. I mean, this is what we were doing, we were just like putting the gazebos up on the day before and stuff like that. Um, there's, a, there's my best man, you know, Nicholas' granddad, we're putting gazebos up and stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, we were doing that. There's... Our uh, maid of honor and bridesmaid of our friends sat there making, making flowers. flowers the day before. Um, it's just, it was all so, so intense. Uh, Chubby! Oh, uh, not, congrats, you. Mr. Steve Covey, every happiness. Thank you so, so much. Fun facts. Um, so, our friend, as we uh, kind of finished the whole ceremony, he announced us as Mr. and Mrs. Steve's company. <laughs> <laughs> That's generally how he ended you, Ernie. So, we did the whole. Uh, things and he went, mm-hmm. Mr. and Mrs. and Steve Company. And I got a lot of laughs. Mm-hmm. Also, you know what my best man said as well at the end of his speech? I think we all can share one final thought announce Harry Kane. <laughs> um, this is not the announcement. Yeah, no, I don't, obviously, don't know. Um, oh, thank you. So, likes our glasses. Cheers, man. Cheers, JJ. We got um, them from the same place. <laughs> Can you tell? It did your idea. Is it Bambola? Is this your idea? <laughs> thank you so much. It's a great idea. The five things learned. Um, four things there. Five things. Um, what else has the fifth thing? We've done the money, the exhaustion, keep it personal. Um, <laughs> Someone tried to steal our rum. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We won't we'll dive into that too it's much. Um, um, prepare things to get broken, as we'll say, yeah, as well. Yeah. I bought a record player along. We put it in the, put it in the food room saying, keep your records playing. And we all, like, keep the music going in the, in the room. And uh, finally, frankly, sadly, my record player got it's broken. Fine. But he got overused. He got used, which is a good point, um, I guess. One thing... As a woman, not that you guys would be really interested, but who <laughs> someone said has she got big melons? Um, you yeah, are, um... I mean, you've been bag black for that because you um you you've been a melon. Um, but but if you have wives, girlfriends, whatever, don't worry about your dress getting messy. Oh no, Nick, mine you... mine ended up with like mud about that far up my dress, and it was great. I enjoyed it. It was a good time. Um, and it's it, you wear it for one day. Our officiator ran, ran over to me, by the way, like before the wedding. He went, "This will put a smile on your face." Uh, before the speeches, he went, "It's one 0 Man City." I was like, "God, Johnny, <laughs> Johnny ran over and showed me the score, uh, which was then." Uh, and then at one point, Nicola was like, "Noticing, he's like, what are you doing?" I was like, "I was just checking the city score on my phone." Yeah, what? No, we were about to cut the cake, and he was checking the city score. <laughs> I just remember that. I was like, I wouldn't have told you to stop doing it, but then I just realised we'd literally just walked behind the cake and uh, our photographer was like ready to take a picture of us. He's going to do that. And um, yeah, I just need to go check something in the oven. Bear with me. Uh, But yeah, I literally, um, I... Yeah, I I, I checked the city score unashamedly during the wedding cake cutting. I don't care, man, I don't care. We were good, by the way. We were city good the other day. Um, Genuinely... 
Uh, I honestly, I had no idea. We looked like we played well. We looked like we played well, so I was happy about that. Um, uh, but yeah, uh, <laughs> um, wedding was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. Um, Nicholas just gone back to the kitchen because he had something in the oven. Um, but it was wonderful. I missed. Do you know what? Me and Nicola, I was saying to Nicola, and she knows it's true. I said I've missed making videos, haven't I? Yep. I've actually missed you, making you, videos. You miss football, just like having to think about. I, I wanted just, there, yeah. I wanted to just chat about football. I mean, I missed. I like, and we 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 woke up as well yesterday, having wedding anxiety dreams. We both thought we had the we wedding. We both woke stuff. up with having nightmares about. Oh shit! Um, we got to do this, or something's broke. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Nazza. I've never seen a more natural couple on the internet being serious. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, where's the honeymoon? Uh, we're going tomorrow. We have, we did, we've only got a, a mini moon, as they call it. As we're going to the Lake District. People on the gram probably call it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we're just we just um, we're going to the Lake District for. We we'll see. We're like that that kind of like Airbnb couple. We always mm -hmm. get these little kind of like little self service Airbnb places mm -hmm. in valleys, and we thought we want. We ha usually have to like always make food. We breakfast, want everything. we wanted we wanted um the hotel with food mm -hmm. and breakfast so we got like a like a proper fancy hotel on the on Lake Windermere, um and we, we're going to pamper ourselves because why not pamper ourselves eh? Mm -hmm. uh, so next one Tuesday or Friday I probably will actually find a video and I reckon I reckon mm -hmm. I'll probably sit and do a video one night or something because Nick we, we will do I think I actually will do. Um, you're gonna be so chilled. You're gonna want. Something. Yeah, we'll um, do. What what the heck is a. Uh... Trash the dress photo shoot. Is that an American? Uh, is, that, is that a thing? Jake Emma, is that an American thing? Are you American? Because I've never heard of that before. No. It's actually currently at the dry cleaners, I think. Um, Let's get these bows again. I'm just going to bring them up again. It's got a hole to. about that big. Oh, look at that. Look at these bows. I mean, look at us with the goats. Look at us with, you know, the Bruyne, Sterling, Bowden, <laughs> Grealish. Um, wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Isn't that just like the most epic photo? It's so pretty. Yawn. That's how tired we are. I'm absolutely obsessed with that photo. There's loads more. Ah. Oh. That's generally because you can see the thistle poking in my face. Actually, I've just noticed that's she's why been, I'm making a face. She's been thistled there, haven't you? I've been thistled, real, real, real you, good. What's your reaction to that photo? <laughs> I can feel the thistle. You feel the thistle. Mm -hmm. I, I think my suit looks class, by the way. Mm -hmm. The Thai colour, the best man chose that. Thank you so much. Yeah. And Nicola looks beautiful. Look at the mm -hmm. detail on her dress. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at the detail on the dress there. All the, all the lace and everything. It's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. It's just genuinely beautiful. Um, I'm obsessed with it. it. Um, um, but basically... He didn't like it, actually, when uh, I first what, showed him a picture. On no, a that's model. not true. I, like, no, I did like you, it on, like, on someone else. It didn't look mm -hmm. right. Because I'm not, I'm not going to... Say yeah. if it's wrong with how it looks or no, something no, else, no. but it looked different and it looked totally different on Nicola, mm -hmm. um, just a totally different build. And um, it was just Nicholas. Was, it, I thought Nicholas really did more basic. What she did, she's fucking beautiful. She's yeah. a beautiful babe. Thanks. So this is my wife, Nicola McInerney. Officially, Nicola McInerney. Yes, we do want a little city pan one day. Mm -hmm. um, Not anytime soon though. We're in the Peter Street. We're we're, we're in um, uh, near Ramsbottom. Yeah. So. So Barry Way. So, There's yeah. lots of hills there, which I local. think a lot of people don't realise. Yeah, it's a beautiful area. Hol Holcomb Hill it is, which mm -hmm. is just a Holcomb, really. So, uh, <laughs> Guys, <laughs> you can't ask women if you can expect kids soon because you don't know what people are going through. I we're mentioned fine. it, to be fair. I just mentioned we're, it. Yeah, I know, but we're, we're fine. Uh, we're just waiting until we get a house. We don't know. We, we, who knows? We'll try. That's yeah, all we'll we can try. say. That's, all, That's we'll say. all we can say. We'll try. Once you get the house. Pete, legend, congratulations to you both. You seem like a right connected couple. Cheers to years oh, of happiness. Thank you, Pete. Thank you. That's so um, sweet. That's one thing I've learned, by the way, as well from this. Don't settle. And what I mean for that is don't settle for anything that means... Anything that means something to you, don't settle. Be it the wedding be it the food that you want, be it the, the, the venue that you want, the um, people, that you want, people you want there, and of course the most important person in your life. Just find someone that makes you happy. Mm -hmm. I know it sounds really obvious, but the amount of people who find someone and it's just, yeah, it's all right. Yeah, it's all right. We, no, um, yeah. you, you should find someone you're obsessed with, and mm -hmm. Nicola is that person. Nicola's that wonderful person who makes every tiny little thing better. Like, if you don't, you're not with someone that you don't want essentially do everything with, you're not with the right person. Obviously, there's some people you'd rather do some certain things with. Like, usually, I'd probably rather go to a football game sometimes with my best mate, a City mm -hmm. fan. But I still want Nicola to be there. That's the point. That is the yeah. point entirely. Like, find someone like that. If you haven't what found you someone about? like you that. You love that. taking me to my Oh, Nicola, uh, games is class. Like, I would... <laughs> I, I, Feeding you, me chips. That's, I'm happy I'll just sit there eating chips. Great photo you've got, Carson, yeah. 
Uh, Jameson Tanner, thank you so, so much. Uh, you're oh, an Jameson, absolute wonderful person. And all you, so by the way. How do you guys meet? Tinder. Mm -hmm. Tinder. Tinder. Breaking he, he, Manchester City. He, he, he definitely didn't think that he'd be marrying me. Oh, no, I'll be honest. I was on there. I was on there just for a quick jag, I'll be honest. <laughs> uh, and did all right. You know, yeah, did all right. Did all right. Do you know what we walked down the aisle to? Jurassic Park. Yeah, and what did we... Uh... String Quartet, Jurassic Park down the aisle. And what did we uh, leave da, da, da. And we left to... Uh, basically, every time we go on a walk somewhere, do you know the music from the Shire from the Lord of the Rings? Like, did 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 it. I think I think someone's completely missed the whole gist of this video. When are you two getting married? We are. <laughs> Brillo, mate. Look at the thumbnail. Um, uh, but yeah, we walked down the um, feeding an apple. Uh, basically, yeah, we walked down. The, they left it to, to um, uh, the concerning hobbits for the shy, and it sounded mm -hmm. gorgeous. Um, it was wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Uh, breaking Manchester City trigger Nicholas 25 minute release clause that's, I that's pretty I yeah I'd say yeah I, I yeah. would let it happen then you would force your way out and go and strike come back to me 25 yeah. million yeah, yeah I think so yeah um, but it was wonderful I apologise for the lack of football videos uh, well I don't I don't give a f no I don't apologise at all but I guess in meaning I do Lit literally figuratively no I don't because <laughs> like but um, I, you, I you, missed it yeah if you're um, based in the UK, especially the Northwest, and you want any like suggestions, like all of our suppliers were so good, wonderful, like, so good. It felt like we just had like an extension. Here's one thing we learned. There. Here's one thing we learned. Another thing, don't do a sit down meal. In our personal opinion, there is absolutely nothing wrong with sit down meal. And if you had it and you enjoyed it, fucking great for you. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I am so happy for you. You loved it. But me personally, nah. We didn't want it. What we did, we had our Spanish tapas place, right? And you had a room where all the food, and they were cooking a big Spanish grill. It was amazing outside. And then basically, <laughs> what? Sorry. Get back to pumping. <laughs> um, do you know what? We've been too tired, I'll be honest. No, that, oh, that's another happening. myth, by the way. That, oh, yeah, you don't. There is no yeah, way. That no if, way. You're, if you're... If you're doing the wedding day right, you're not doing it. Yeah, if you're, if you're managing to have sex at the end of your wedding... You didn't. You you didn't have enough fun. <laughs> well, maybe you did actually. Maybe, did, maybe you're just an absolute fucking stud. The pair of you. Yeah. You know what I mean, like. Then props to you. Bro. We were just exhausted. We were straight into bed and like. Do you want? Do you want the best thing to do is? I, I'm not saying this in a in a. In a uh, weddings cost you an awful lot of money. <laughs> weddings cost you an awful lot of money. A lot of money goes out your account. So at the night, Nicola got this fucking awesome. Nicola found this awesome like um, mailbox, which is mm -hmm. an old fashioned mail postal box of eBay for all the cards. Um, so we, we brought it upstairs, we got the cards out. I think I got a picture one second, I got a picture. And we just lay there at the end of the night, two in the morning, exhausted, and we just poured a pile of cards on us. And we opened the first one and there was a bit of money in it and we were like, ooh, <laughs> a lot of money. Ooh. And then we were like, that's 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 nice. And then we opened the other one and we were like, ooh. And then it was like opening Christmas presents and like and we didn't feel guilty about it. Oh there we go, this is what Nick look what we did by the way, this is what we did. Um we um I can't see so we I think I'll hold it for you. Um, basically, that we we Nicola did all the did all the chalkboards as well, saying put your cards in there. A lot we, we hired the whiskey barrels. Then then we bought those jars. And we we bought the flowers and Mum did the arrangements and our friends did. We bought that little thing there. Um, so that was all the arrangements that we did ourselves. We put all the posts in there. It was it was adorable. So we lay there at night, dead guilty, just opened the cards, going yes, money, because <laughs> we were skinning. We're like, and then basically, well, it, it basically like. Would know a nick of what the wedding is. No, not even but close. But it's covered the mini me. Well, we we've used much. it to book a hotel for three yeah. nights and have a nice, you know, and and um, uh, basically, yeah, it was um, it was it was quite a fun little moment, <laughs> a guilt-free fun little moment. Like, oh, this is like, nice because we we worked hard, mm -hmm. we worked hard, and, and well, what I was saying as well, what was I saying before then? Oh yeah, we said we said don't get. I our, my suggestion is, um, uh, can I say how much your wedding cost was? We spent about eight grand, I would say. Yeah. Eight to nine grand, which is a lot of money, but mm -hmm. I think the value of our wedding, what we got out of it, was worth way more. Yeah. Because it was all personal, hand built and stuff. Like, for example, the arch. Yeah. Hand built by my dad. Very like, like that arch there. That arch there, um, like, my dad built that from scratch. Um, it's yeah. beautiful. Yeah, and uh, like we brought, we got, did all the decorations. We bought all those flowers like on the Thursday. All, all the, the link, all the lights uh, on the wall. My mum bought, uh, you know, the, 
<laughs> I hope that's true. Stealing a US mailbox is a federal crime. Buy for eBay. Fucking bring it on. Yeah, I buy for eBay, so you know. <laughs> Come on, bring it on, America. Um, <laughs> talk about food. Let's talk about. Oh food. yeah, so basically, what we did it. We had a room at the side where, so we had a barbecue outside and they were cooking all the food, and then everyone would go in and said the food's ready. We didn't do a we didn't do a seating plan because there were 70, 60 people there. Our attitude was. Sit down next to anyone, and if someone's, I don't know, maybe if someone smiles, you go sit down next to him. You're mm-hmm. all adults, we're not going to tell you where to sit. Mm-hmm. Go and sit down next to anyone, and they got a plate, and everyone was in a queue chatting away, and they, they filled it up, and it was a visual timing when your food was coming. They weren't sat there waiting for an hour while 200 people were being served. You know, they, they just got the food, and they sat down next to each other, and then they pulled, and everyone just sat down wherever, had all the food, and everyone was like, This is amazing, because there was no waiting. And no one, no one, um, no one needed. Uh, no one needed like a sit down meal. We didn't. We just gave them food and put some tables and chairs I, I, around. And literally, like we were stood in the queue um, until we pushed in because we're like, why are we queuing? Yeah, we, we realised we, we, we could jump the queue, so we um, did, which we never do ever. But yeah, everyone just kept going past us and going, "This is amazing!" And they had like big plates of like piled high of like ribeye steak <laughs> and sea bass and like whole pieces of like salmon. Oh, and, so like, good, so so good. Oh, it was amazing, and like. Uh, sweet potatoes, like that. Thank you, Gary, by the like, way. Lovely comment. Up and everything. And do you know what? After all these lockdowns, it felt, and we, I'll be honest as well, we, you know, not going into COVID too much, but we, we didn't want a COVID wedding. We, no, didn't, we didn't. Not. I, I admire anyone who could do that, but we couldn't personally. Mm-hmm. And we wanted a normal wedding, an absolute normal wedding. Mm-hmm. And it was, it was, it was perfectly, utterly as if the life was normal. Like, no, nothing. Like, yeah. um, and everyone knew that. Everyone got coming to it. But we also messaged everyone, told them beforehand how it would be. Uh, but five style weddings are the best, Patrick. You're right. I swear. Because sit down meals are nice, but I think people just want to stand up, and get drunk, and, and chat. And also getting to choose what you want to eat as well. Like, yeah. Oh, my, the food is so good. I'm good. We also had a massive, like, two huge pans of paella. Paella. Um, which was like, which one was treat? So uh, no. Martin, was, I get it, mate. About the tapas thing, you keep going to tapas style tapas. is the thing. Yes, um, it's Iberian. It's fine. It doesn't matter, mate. It's um, Martin. It's not a big deal, you know. <laughs> you don't have to claim it. Um, it's fine. If we, we we were just saying how much we enjoyed the food. Um, <laughs> did we book a venue? We did. We got uh, we got a farm in Ramsbottom, mm-hmm. Daniel. Yeah, we, we we found that ourselves as well. And um, we yeah. just obviously no one no one found it for us. Um, <laughs> um, what was this? We had sangria as everyone arrived as oh, well. but Daniel, it wasn't a venue. It was a farm. We went, can we get married here? Because you do my wedding. And he went, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, they don't, there's they nothing don't there. To... There's no like wedding arches. There's no nothing. It's just an empty barn. Like, it, like this is, I want to, there you go. I'll show you what it's like beforehand. Right, there you go. There'll be two, two before and after. It was, so, yeah, huge difference. I want to see a before and after. So this <laughs> is. So what's worse? I don't even know why I'm here. I guess I'm just bored. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well you know. You know. What's wrong with that? Um, Basically, um, so this was the ven- This is the venue. After- Wait, this is the wedding venue before. Um, that was it before. Oops, my phone's going flat. <laughs> that was the venue before. See it, just kind of like empty. See it, empty. Just an empty room. That's the arch that my dad built with some hay bales in. An absolutely empty, empty room, and we turned it into this. Like, we were absolutely buzzing. I mean, look at that. All the lights, all the mm-hmm. guitars and all that kind of stuff. That is the room that we made. Um, uh, and we are buzzing. Uh, we did genuinely. Can I just say, guys, I don't care, we'll care where tapas comes from. We never claimed that it was anything of any sort. We just said we had tapas-style food. Um, <laughs> first dance song was... Um, first dance was uh, House of Cards by Radiohead. Mm-hmm. And then it went into uh, Saturday by Elton John. So that was... That's the transformation once again. Genuinely so. a huge Elton John fan. <laughs> yeah. So that's the transformation once again. That to that, uh, it took us ages, absolutely ages. But I am so, um, so so proud of the, all the work we did to it. It looks up. It took us like look at the so no rug, no hay bales, chairs, lights on the walls, the drapes everywhere. We did it, and we I'm very proud of us. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyway. We're going to go and chill, but I wanted to basically just chat to you all because I miss you. That's genuinely true. That's <laughs> it. Friend, if Carlsberg did weddings. Well, if anyone ever wants a wedding planner, 
We'll try. I think we'll be pretty I good. I think we could do it. We're pretty... Just give me a break for a year and then. I think we could do it, you know. I think we could do it. I think we can honestly, honestly do it. We're, we're for her. Mm-hmm. We don't fuck about, you know. We'll make it personal, make it fun for you. Maybe By the can... way, one of the best things we did, right, we had, because of the rain outside, we couldn't put as many hay bales as mm-hmm. we wanted, so we built a sofa out of hay bales, put a blanket over it, got my TV from my parents' spare house, bought Nintendo Switch along, and we set up Mario Kart in the corner behind the back of the, the altar mm-hmm. um, down the corner. And um, people were playing Mario Kart sat in hay bales while drinking drinking games it was Mario amazing. Kart. Class. Everyone Absolutely loved, class. Everyone loved beer pong too. Beer pong. Which we just right, I always find beer pong a bit gross, so we um just put <laughs> we just put it water, water in it and yeah. then people drank out of their own um, drinks. Um let's see what the uh, yeah. So it's happened, most of the, most of the, no one stole rum, I don't think. No, no. So if some same. people thought they were going, we basically, we had a rum bar, essentially, we got all our favourite And that rums. meant everyone could go get a free drink of rum. But then towards the end of the night, it looked like people were trying to take, take the, the bottle bottles and, mom, and go. My mum jumped, jumped in was like, oh. Uh, mum jumped in to kick off and like, no, no one takes our bloody, no one takes the rum, you know, not from us lot. So we've, we've still got rum left. I'm happy about that. So. There's some wonderful uh, <laughs> gifts here, by the way. There is. Uh, look, here's, here's, there's people dancing around. You know, loads of people dancing around here. There's, <laughs> there's Paul Wolf probably <laughs> Um Who else? Um, no, not three years salary in the ring. My ring cost me, um, well, cost even about, what, 450 quid or something? Yeah, 450. Uh, the whole thing was about 500 pounds. And then I bought my own wedding ring, which was... Ninety pounds. So in total, about five hundred quid on my finger. Nicola, at the end of the wedding, right? She got in. A, got into some dungarees because she wanted to. Look at her. She got into some dungarees. Uh, anyone think a Lord of Rings when they see Stephen's ring? Well, do you know what? Mm-hmm. Yeah, th- that was definitely. Your your, your wedding ring actually probably costs the same amount as my two together. Look at me here, right? This is the end of the night where this we're all absolutely right. gone. Absolutely gone. So this is right at the end of the night with the last people standing. Look at the lights in there. Singing New York, New York, me spinning around. Do you know what's in my hand there? A jug of sangria. <laughs> <laughs> we had jugs of sangria left. Um, and I was literally spinning around shouting centrifugal force. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Ben was like, my mate Ben was like, whoa, he's got sangria. I was like, centrifugal force, just spinning around. I was like, no, anyone's That's spin. the first time I've heard the centrifugal force stuff. That's I told amazing. you earlier, but you weren't paying attention. I'm really tired. Um, like, we're going to have to you, go like soon because I'm so yeah. tired. Uh, it's just great fun. This is great fun. I'm just enjoying doing this so much. Here's me, my dad, and my brother are all of our suits, and look at adorable eyes. Adorable, isn't it? So cute. Stephen looks great in a suit. Love you all. Football videos will be back soon. I just wanted to update you. Um, oh, thank you, MLMO. MLMO is great. You're all absolutely adorable. Thank mm-hmm. you so much. This is where I've been for the past week, basically. Um, yeah. Cracking on with life. And actually, this, this video has made me feel better, weirdly. I'm mm-hmm. knackered, but it's made me feel alive again with the mm-hmm. world. Um, never seen Steve Levitating like that. Iconic. <laughs> <laughs> um, genuinely. Um, I'm going to put it on Twitter, actually, holding the glasses mm-hmm. of sangria. I'm quite proud of it. Um, you're all awesome. Football will be back soon. But what I will say, football is incredible. Um, but she's more important. She just is. Uh, and remember that. Remember it. The, 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 they come first. I love you, beautiful. I, uh, I love you all, loads of all. Not as much as her, <laughs> but we've got quite a lot. We've got Mario! <laughs> Your boy's all grown up. You'll never see anything like yeah. this again! <laughs> I swear to God. Where's that bruise? Oh, I've got a bruise on my He's arm got for no reason. That's, I don't know where that's from. I don't know. Mario's good, by the way. It's good fun getting married. Yeah, it is. It's good. I didn't give him that brace, by the way. That's not what marriage is. Oh, Lan, you're lucky there. Um, you got you got a free ring. That's passed down from the amazing. family. Um, amazing. You're all beautiful people. Uh, you said Bella's there. Is that you? Oh, thank you so much, man. How you doing, pal? Long, long, it's, long time. Is that... Uh, Wendy's lad. Yeah. Oh, oh mate, how you doing? You're a l- big love, mate. Uh, if that's you, I think it is. Uh, absolutely love you all loads. Anyway, um, message me on Facebook if it's you, mate. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, catch you on a bit. You're all beautiful, wonderful. Catch you all soon. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, 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 bye. She, wait. This is the song we've been singing for the last few days. She's Nicola McInerney. I'm Nicola McInerney. <laughs> we are the McInerneys. <laughs> That's kind of a crossing melody as well. Yeah. Bye. Bye. I've got, I've got bare muscles. Yeah, I've got no muscles. God bless Tinder. I've got no muscles on me. I'm